obscure, obsolete media formats. Obscure and obsolete media formats. Those are a thing. And apparently, flex play is a real thing. I had no idea about this. Well, just know you heard it here first. Flex play is a fit. It's a. It's. It's good that it failed, cause most likely these would have been thrown up in the thrown in the trash and not to be environmentally friendly. I'm glad these failed. But apparently what these are, if I know it correctly, is that I know these <clears throat> these were like a rental exclusive. Um so like if you wanted to rent like a movie or something, you would just have it within f and as soon as you break the bag, break open the bag, 48 hours later, it will not work no more. But this would most likely not work anyway, because it's, well, it's f***ing 16 years old. I don't know. But these started out in 2003 and ended in 2011. They're rare. Well, not really rare, but they're obscure. And I guess it has that redness to it, I guess. The disc. It's red. You can kind of see the red already, and the dust bits on it. If you would like to see me try out this disc after the video, skip right ahead to this time code. But, I'll give you some back history about it. Flex play. Let's just say I'm glad it didn't succeed. Because these most likely would be very bad for the environment. Some of them happen to be green discs where you could recycle them. This is definitely not one of them. I found this at my local library's, like, shop. The, the little shop they have with very obscure times. But anyway, that's not the relevant topic. The relevant topic is this flex play disc. It's definitely a DVD, but it's... Meant to be thrown away. It's like renting a movie, but you don't have to bring it back. Remember Blockbuster? Where if you rent a movie, you'd have to return it? That's basically how every rental stores go, but not this one. You could just buy it at your local pharmacy, and then you'd have the movie, and then as soon as you break open that bag, and then 48 hours later, you have to watch the movie within 48 hours. And then after 48 hours was done... It'll immediately, it'll immediately kill itself, causing it not to work anymore. So yeah, I think, I think this has oxidizing layers making it kill itself. But anyways, I found a video from this guy that talks about this in detail, relevant topics. So if you want to watch it, him, go watch him. If you want to talk about my useless facts, go ahead and stay right here. Flex play, maybe not definitely the hugest win, but f*** it, I guess. So, I think this is near the end of the video. We shall bring out my old DVD player. Okay, I got this mini AV to HDMI adapter, so it's causing it up here. But we're not going to use the VCR part of it. We're going to use the DVD part for today. But anyways, it's an upscaler. Here's proof that the DVD works. Here's proof. Once again, this is a real DVD. So, this could easily be something someone would buy back in 2007. Give it a minute. Yup, still works. What did, what did I tell you? Uh, it's totally reading off the DVD. There's no audio coming out of it right now, because this thing doesn't support audio. This monitor doesn't support internal speakers. But anyway, 
We're going to put this to the side right now. Okay, here's the main attraction for right now. Kite Runner. How do you get this thing open? There you go. Okay, maybe... It smells like a rotten DVD. It smells like a rotten DVD. No disc? Well, we're gonna... Moment of truth. Will this actually work? Read? Well, it's trying to read. It's trying. Trying. I'll check on you in a few minutes. It's trying to read. Oh, I think we have a problem. Check disc. What? Can you see girly play? No. How do you save a flex play disc? Well, I don't know. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Red glass.